Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to deal with this question. Do we really need to construct the entire truth table to find the truth value of a given proposition? Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. Sasagutin natin kaagad yung question. Okay, so what's the question again? Do we really have to make the entire truth table to get the truth value of a given proposition? The answer is, it is not necessary. Okay, hindi kailangan. Okay, in this video, I'll be giving you some examples kung saan hindi kailangan i-construct ang buong truth table. Okay, let's have this first example here. Okay, so you see, if you have this multiple choice item or question, you don't really have to construct the entire truth table kasi sayang sa oras, right? Especially kapag given naman yung mga truth values ng mga simple proposition nyo. Okay, what do I mean by that? Kunyara ito, P and Q are both false, tapos R is true. So, doon lang kayo mag-focus. Okay? So, magkoconstruct lang tayo ng isang portion ng truth table. Okay? Let me show you. So, what do I mean by that? Meron pa rin kayong PQR kasi sila yung mga propositions dito. Okay? But, I'm not going to construct the entire table. Okay? Ang consider ko lang ay um, P and Q are both false. So, yun lang yung ilalagay ko dito. And then, R is a true proposition. So, R is T. Okay? And then, bubuuin ko na itong given proposition. Itong um, conjunction na ito. The negation of Q and P and R. So, dito tayo start sa Q and P. Okay? So, what is the truth value of Q and P? So, we look at the truth value of Q. And truth value of P. They are both false. So, automatically, itong ating conjunction na ito, Q and P, ay merong truth value na F. Okay? Now, we're going to get its negation. Kasi sabi dito, ayan o, negation of Q and P. So, napakadali naman, di ba? The negation of a false statement is true. Okay? And then finally, we have this um, conjunction. Okay? The negation of Q and P and R. So, we're going to focus on these two truth values. Okay? So, ito ay conjunction. Okay? So, yeah, it is true. Kasi pareho namang true yung pinag-connect natin. Okay? So, this is true. This is the answer. So, the answer to this multiple choice question is letter A. Alright? See? We don't construct the entire truth table. Let me give you another example. Okay? Second example. Another multiple choice question. Para mas masanay kayo. Okay? So, gawa ulit tayo ng portion ng truth table. Okay? Tapos kunin natin ang values, truth values ni P, Q, R. Anong sabi dito? Okay? P, Q, and R are true, false, true. So, alternating. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya. T, F, T. And then after that, kailangan yung mabuo itong proposition na ito. Right? Okay. So, we start with Q and R. Okay? Another conjunction. So, nasan yung Q and R? Ito. Ito yung truth value ni Q. Tapos, ito naman yung truth value ni R. Right? Okay. So, again, you recall your conjunction. If one is false, remember, it is automatically false. Alright? And then, finally, we have this conditional here. Okay? So, we're going to focus on this truth values. Again, P is the hypothesis here, and then your conclusion is Q and P. Okay, so parang ito yung value ng hypothesis niyo, 
And then this is your conclusion. And you know what? This is the only case where a conditional statement is false. Okay? So that's why the answer in this multiple choice question is false. The given conditional, this one is false. If P is true, Q is false, and R is true. Okay? Another example. We have example number three. So here, um, if you take a look at the given, okay, so, di ba, ah, sabi ni teacher, we don't have to construct the entire truth table. Okay, titignan lang natin yung given. So, ah, gagawa tayo ng portion ng truth table. Okay, but if you inspect the given proposition, eto o, oh, is it? Okay. Kapag in-inspect nyo yan at ginawa nyo yung portion lang ng truth table, ang haba niya. Okay? Let me show you how to deal with this kind of problem. Okay? What do I mean by that? Yung kahit portion lang ng truth table ang gagawin ninyo, mahaba pa rin. Okay? I'm going to show the solution using pen and paper. Okay? So watch this. Okay. So, dahil mahaba rin kapag nag-create tayo ng portion ng truth table, let me show you another way on how to get the truth value of a given proposition. Okay? So, ganito lang yon. So, you write the given proposition. So, ito yon, And then, you write down the given. So, ang given, P is true. Okay? Q is false. And then, R is true. So, lahat ng P, lalagyan nyo ng true. Ang Q ay false. Ang R ay True. Okay? Sa tapat nila. Alright? And then, you try to perform the operations. What do I mean by that? Kunyari, ito. It's or. Right? It's a disjunction. Kapag disjunction, tapos may isang true, ano yung combination? It is true. Right? Here. Okay? It is a conjunction. It's and. Kapag may isa ng false, ito o may isang false, the combination is false. Okay? E dito, since they are both true, tapos combined with this connector and, ito ay true. Okay? Okay, ito namang P, wala naman siyang kailangang i-combine sa kanya, so copy. And then, so kung ito ay true, tapos ito ay true, i-combine sila using the word and, kita nyo? Ito na yon Tapos na kayo dito. It's true. Itong buong to ay true. Ito rin ay true. So, if you combine these two, okay, both true, okay, the combination is true. Okay, so itong buong ito ay totoo. Okay, what about this one? So, ito ay false. Ito ay true. Iko-combine natin yan using the word or. Okay, since may isang true, ito ay true. Okay? So, tapos na tayo dito. Ito ay true. Okay? Ito, oh. Okay? Tapos, ito naman, true din. Okay? So, therefore, what is the truth value of a conditional if you have a true hypothesis and a true conclusion? It is... True. Okay? So, nakita nyo? Okay? So, from our solution using pen and paper, our answer here is true. Okay? Let's have our last example. Okay? Another multiple choice question. Okay? So, here, um, you're looking for a false proposition. So, you have four propositions here. Okay, alin daw dito ang false? If P is false and Q is true. So imagine, you're going to make truth tables for each of these propositions. Diba ang haba? Okay, so again, I'm going to use a um, pen and paper to show how to deal with this kind of problem. Okay, so watch this. So, we're looking for the proposition that is false. If Q is true and P is false. 
So, ang hirap kung lahat gagawa natin ng truth table. Okay? So, again, let me teach you how to do it um, as fast as you can. So, for example, ito, true. Tapos, ito, false. And then, you have a um, conditional. So, what can you say about this? If the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false, this is what? This is false. Okay? So, itatapat ko lang siya dito. Alright? Okay, what about this one? And. Kapag naman and, kapag may isa ng false, automatic, this one is false. Okay? So, finally, you have false or false. So, that is, what is the value? False. Okay? So, tinatapat ko lang dito sa operator. Okay? So, letter A is a false proposition. Okay? What about letter B? This is false. Okay? It's given. P is false. Q is true. So, the negation of a true statement is false. Okay? So, ito ay false if and only if false. Okay? You have a biconditional. So, kapag pareho yung value, okay, ng isang biconditional, yung biconditional mismo ay true. So, this is true. Okay? So, tinatapat ko lang doon sa operator. Alright? Okay. What about letter C? Again, P is false, Q is true. We determine the truth value of this proposition. Okay? Again, what is F? And T, it is F. Okay? Diba kapag conjunction, kapag may isang false, false na yan. Okay? What about or? Kapag may isang true, true na to. So, what can you say about the conditional? It is true. So, letter C is a true proposition. Okay? Uh, next, last one. Okay? So, P is false. So, therefore, yung not P I true. Okay? So, what is true and true? That is true. Okay? So, you may want to put like this para alam nyo kung alin ang pinagsama ninyo. Okay? Here. By conditional. Pag by conditional, tapos magkaiba yung truth values, this one is false. Okay? Now, you have one true and one false. You're going to combine them using this connector. Or. Okay? So, what is true or false? Definitely true. Kasi may isang true. Okay? So, nakita niyo kung paano ko sinolve? Ang dali lang, right? So, based on our solution, yung A is a false proposition. Okay? And then, the rest are true Proposition. So, that's why the answer here is letter A. Okay? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.